Hi everyone and welcome back. So in the last video we talked about Lana uh, and Monorepo, why we need Monorepo and uh, the advantage of using Monorepo. And we are also going to use Monorepo because we have a lot of services, a lot of front-end applications uh, and different services and we want to manage them through Monorepo. Okay, so how our actual system looks like, let's talk about it. So here these are all Monorepo packages we have. There will be some library, some typings, which we will expose. And I mean, those are shared libraries which can be used across all the different free packages. Or uh, let's say the storybook, the React storybook, which can be used by all the, Re all the React projects. So here it is, let's say the user auth. Let me change the... Okay, so here we have a product. And here it will be a front-end app, which is Next.js app. This is Svelte Kit. And let's say this is a React CSR. Okay. Now, if we were not using this uh, monorepo and we were using only individual repositories, then setting up the CI is not that complex because you know the whole code whatever code is in the repository will go to the ci and cd process but here this is like all different libraries and the whole project is not going through one different application one single application the lib will go to the npm repo the user auth will go to the user auth uh, heroku container or heroku instance the product service will go to the product heroku applications right so what we are going to use currently the code is on the github so we will use github actions and through github actions you can actually target the github actions to deploy your applications to anywhere you want i mean they are powerful like uh, same as the gitlab ci circle ci or all the other ci tools we are using Git github so let's stick to whatever is provided by github so we'll add the GitHub actions in our code. Let's say when you create a merge request, when you push the create a pull request, you close the pull request, when you merge the pull request to develop, then uh, deploy the changes to the dev environment, when you merge the changes to the master, deploy the uh, applications to the production environment, these kind of configurations you can do in the GitHub actions. These are like, if you are using GitHub, then you will write github actions if you are using gitlab then you will write gitlab ci.yml if you are using circle ci you will use circle ci.yml these are like ci tools are available which will help you to deploy your application the only tricky part here is because this is a monorepo contains all different applications obviously uh, the user auth is not interested in deploying Svelte kit right so we will see how we can release the projects wherever the changes are happening, not each and every product, in not each and every service, and how we can target that product service where deployment should go to the product container, product instance on AWS or Heroku. All those things we are going to configure on the GitHub. And, and this is the deployment. Once you are connected to the service either Heroku, DigitalOcean, AWS and deployment is easy you do npm install, npm run start the script and all these things currently we are targeting the Heroku so we will do all those things in Heroku you can deploy Next.js, SvelteKit, uh, React application you just need to use a build packs you can also deploy the Next.js applications and all okay so what we are going to do let's switch to our code this is what we were writing if you remember these are my packages and how i'm putting the code to the github i'm creating these branches so if you can also switch to the individual branches or master will have the latest code available so i did the lana upgrade uh, yesterday what it does is now we are using lana version 6.0 which is using P npm workspace because i'm using npm package manager you can see the lana is 6.4.1 and when I do npm run build, first of all, node version, because now this is really tricky because Svelte kit requires 16.14.0 and Node.js also has released a lot of LTS versions, 18 and all. At least we should start using now 16.18 and above. 
to run everything properly like next.js won't run anything below 16.0 so uh, i hope you have the node version manager which where you can actually see the list of available packages and then you can switch using this nvm use v and version like 14.5.0 which i don't want i want to use 16.18.0 so my node version is switched to 16.18.0 and i can just trigger all these commands which are defined here other commands other uh, libraries are like commit lint uh, es lint these are like at root level we can define it because the prettier es lint we are going to use at the root level of the project before committing so i can just run npm run build and it will do the build on wherever the build script is available when i do npm run test it will run the test wherever the test command is available test script is available available and the rest all command are like npm run clean lint so that executes the lint command on all the packages i think there is some issue can't find pages that's fine this is using eslint tests build bootstrap ci i think we don't need it okay so we can do npm install and can execute these commands now coming to the packages these packages will keep increasing drivers are the the, the particular package which i wanted to put for the nest js common utility drivers utility is the helpers which we can expose through the typescript these all these projects are going to have a ts config with them and you will have a source folder i haven't created them like uber it is a like next year's application similarly there will be a restaurant dashboard so how you can create a new package i think it's a lana create restaurant dashboard okay i think i need to install because i switched the node.js version so i need to install the lana here globally so that i can execute the lana command from the command line uh, the Larna globally was installed on the Node.js version 14. I have, I have to do it again so that I can execute the same set of commands. It will take some time. So let's take a look on other things. Oh, what service? Drivers, common utility drivers, gateway service, restaurant service, restaurant dashboard, Uber Eats. This is like a end user application which user will see. And restaurant dashboard is the, the front end application we will use in the use we will use swell kit that will be seen by the restaurant owners to modify the menu items and the menu items and all and all these is managed through larna package manager okay now github actions we were talking about this thing here github actions so github actions are like nothing but a workflows we need to define workflows are like okay when you create a merge request create a pull request what all checks we can perform all the checks like this i wanted to run the build i need to bootstrap i need to check check all the test cases are passing so that when you create a merge request or pull request whoever is going to review and merge can see okay the test cases are passing uh npm dependencies are fine everything is fine okay so what we are going to do is first learn a create restaurant dashboard it will ask me the package name let's put a tks term as a prefix this will go as a name in the package.json only contains url friendly characters okay so we will use restaurant dashboard okay that is strange because i put these names okay now it's good version we are good and yes so it's like a new package has been created here with the basic setup you will add the source ts config you can just modify this application using svelte kit whatever the dependencies you wanted to add in the package.json and all this will go like this 
now coming to our first of all remove the test command because that is exiting things do we have script test okay let's say okay we are good here now these are all the packages we have we will modify them this is let's talk about the workflow here what i'm doing is it's like whenever the merge re pull request is open and synchronized this is like github actions and it is yml file what it does is we can also look into the documentation provided by github for all these things let me open this something like this okay so i mean if you go in, into deep down on all these requests these are the all the events we have whenever the pull request is assigned unassigned open close reopen synchronized then you can actually take some action so either you use some predefined uh, github actions or you start writing your own so what is happening on pull request the type is opened use the release branch and the branch is on the release then do some actions okay these are the jobs which will run on this pull request to open status okay similarly there are other actions pull request review target mostly we do is when the pull request is created and pull request is merged right so this is opened what we are doing checkout this is already predefined github actions we set up the node.js version 14 node version 14 we set up the npm we set up the github credentials installing all the dependencies running these commands and then we are running the tests okay so it is using the lana so we need to get the lana first to the installed version so we can use npx lana and execute this command okay so we you can commit this and when you commit this like let's say i commit this as a separate branch get status okay i added a new application so what i can do is first i will do git stash get checkout master okay the following will be overridden by checkout what do i have i didn't get stash So let's first add this in the commit history because this is a new package you can't switch the branch even we can stash pop git add and you can also run these prettier command it's the here get status all good commit minus m we will rebase with the master new app added okay now get checkout master we will pull the latest version of master here we are on the latest version and what was our branch name so what we will do is get checkout learn upgrade we can either merge the master into this because it's already contains the commits so it's better let's merge master or git rebase master okay then we can create a new branch git checkout minus b these are the convention i'm just following 04 dashboard app added and you can say git push origin so i actually send uh, this particular branch to the remote and now you can see i'm trying to merge it to the master create pull request and we will see the changes there are six changes 
so we added just a dashboard app right so what it will do if you check the actions it started running this uh, checks and these checks are nothing but simple setup jog checkouts node version install dependencies run tests and then that's it so if things are good it would be fine if it is failing in running the tests it if it is failing in running, installing any dependencies then obviously it will report and that will be visible here when you see the merge request right these are like the basic stuff which i think exists everywhere all checks checks are passing now you can close or close pull request or merge pull request these are things you can do okay this is just a simple demo how we are going to proceed further now it's time to pen down and write our code we will see how we can deploy these applications we haven't seen that it's just like a simple checks and another workflow is a publish that's we are not going to use to publish the applications but for the libraries let's say i i written a, i have written a lib utilities library or some drivers library which i wanted to publish to github npm then i can use this token github uh, token is actually a predefined secret which we can use and this will deploy to the i mean this is like publish right it will create a version and it will publish to the repositories we will check that now let's come to our applications so what do we have let me open this okay let's target now instead of talking random stuff now it's time to write something since the last video i created nextjs also has gone through some changes svelkit is already upgraded to something new obviously so i mean with the time javascript is evolving and these frameworks Svelkit app okay these are the two applications i can build the same thing in the react which would have been very clean and easier for me i want to do something which will take time and we will learn together okay so next yes application which is again the end user application felt kit application is a restaurant dashboard app or or it can be admin app there is another app we can have admin dashboard app that is for the the product owners like okay swiggy swiggy is the product based company or the uber it's they also can visualize things what's happening in the all all platform how many orders by city how many orders are getting dispatched and all swellkit app will be used by restaurant owners to register themselves and uh, to do all sort of things register add the menu items delete something see the orders and all next yes application is for the end users for actually using the application so this is like a front end interface we are building right now this front end interface is maybe complex that complex we will see over the time how we are what all libraries we are using and all service side so we'll start with simple let's say auth app because i have a plan to evolve the whole framework to uh, by using auth zero or some other tools for like cognito if we wanted to move to the aws then we can use aws cognito to for the user management because this user auth service the microservice will also be doing the okay you can do the login register like in the uber eats what do you enter is your mobile number you get the otp you just log in with that and your session is initiated then you start firing the request and there are some public apis okay and this is let's say uh, simple uber interface public service or you can say search service Search service is better name. I'm not good at naming things. So these these are the two things let's talk, target because search, user auth, 
that can be consumed by all these different applications and then there is obviously a gateway sitting somewhere here that will also be a node.js service which we will build so these small pieces we are targeting first and then we will go from there so what we are going to use for building all these things i mean people were talking about okay i should publish more content on the nest js with the latest changes and all these things are happening so they can use this things for grooming like let's say we because we are going to use nest js type rm if you move to the dynamo if when we move to the aws we can start using dynamo and all these stuff for now postgres is fine we can use type rm for dynamo db then we should start thinking we will start thinking about the cloud and lot more complexity we will end up adding right this is the database layer so what we will do i will baseline a first common service first we will baseline the next js application then swell kit app then admin dashboard app in simple react and then we'll baseline each and every stuff and then we'll start building from there okay uh, let's keep uh, watching thank you everyone